everyone welcome to discover natural today I want to first start off by saying thank you so much to all of you thank you because right now as of today which is um, August the 17th we have up to I'm kind of looking on my computer right now we have about let's see exactly 10,270 subscribers and I am so grateful to you all I, I couldn't have done it without you all and I just really 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 if I didn't say it enough I really appreciate each and every one of you when I started off my channel back in August um, August 16th 2012 I never imagined how much having a channel will uplift me how much reaching out to people that I've not seen some people have seen and some of you have not seen how it has strengthened me in my um, relationship with others and also in understanding more about natural hair uh, we have learned a lot from each other I do not profess to know everything because I learn every day and that is why the name of my channel is called discovering natural my children also my girls they've also grown so much from this channel they've also grown so much from learning from everybody and from the support that you all have given us we are very very grateful to that so a couple of weeks ago I think it was uh, last week I did yeah on the 10th of August I sent out a message and I said ask me anything okay ask me anything with a uh, quote and quote in it because there's some questions that were asked that I just feel that for privacy reasons I cannot uh, fulfill that request of answering that question but we'll get to those when the time goes on so I'm, today I'm going to go and I'm going to answer some questions. There are a lot of questions. I'm going to answer some questions starting from my Facebook page and then the next videos I do, I will now answer questions from Instagram. So the first question is from Facebook and I'm looking at it right here on my computer. You can see right there. It says, what can be done about breakage on one side of the head or hair? For me, the left side is so much shorter than the right side. Thank you for all you do. And this is from Melanie. Melanie, thank you so much for your question because I know that's one question that bothers a lot of people. I know for myself, I have more um, shorter hair on this side of my head versus that side. And I have to tell you that after doing a lot of research, I found out that what really happens is that for some people, this side is the side they sleep on, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So the side they sleep on is usually maybe if it's this side, and you notice that that's the side that is getting much shorter or it looks as if it has made more breakage. And again, if you sleep on that side of your hair, and that side of your hair seems to be the part of your hair that is much more drier, do you ask yourself this question do you use a satin pillowcase or do you use a bonnet or a true satin bonnet because you want to make sure that what you're using um, to sleep on isn't causing the problem and genetically sometimes one side of the hair is much more um, flourishing much more flourishes more than another side of the hair for Big sis, it is our right side of our hair. Ever since she was a baby, our right side of our hair has been one that has less um, luxury or nutrient or something of that sort, if I explain it well. So you might want to look at that. Um, you might want to look at also making sure that you're not putting too much pressure when you're doing your hair on that side and just make sure you moisturize more on that side. So those are the couple of things that might be causing it and some resolutions that could help you out okay so then the next question is from Uche and Uche asks what can I do to my hair breaking especially when I comb or detangle and also to my itchy dandruff flaky scalp I need your help thanks Uche now when you comb your hair 
the thing that we should know that as naturals when you comb natural hair you want to make sure that there's some form of moisture in it um, always make sure that your hair is at least damp or you've spritzed it with a little bit of moisturizer you can try out making a uh, moisturizer um, air spray you know put a bit of water a bit of oil and a bit of your leave-in conditioner spritz it on your hair use some shea butter or some kind of butter to seal in that moisture and then you can comb your hair now when you comb your hair make sure that you are starting combing from the end of your hair and not from the root when you comb from your end of your hair you want to be very gentle combing it and then comb if you feel a tangle make sure that you loosen up the tangle and then comb the rest down so that your hair doesn't break you might also want to try doing finger detangling finger detangling has saved me so many hair strands you know so try finger detangling that also helps a lot when you detangle your hair you want to make sure that you use a product that has enough slip and what is slip? Slip is that feeling when you put a product in your hair the feeling of softness and the feeling of your hair gliding you know the gliding slippery slippery feeling so make sure you put a product that has that in it if you have conditioners put a conditioner and then you can also add extra virgin olive oil or even coconut oil if your hair doesn't react badly to coconut oil you can add that in there and then use it to detangle your hair for your itchy and dandruff scalp make sure that the product that you are putting on your scalp is not causing the problem another thing that you can try out is um, you can try doing a mixture of peppermint oil a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and um, tea tree oil and use that to massage your scalp just to help elevate the itchiness uh, another thing you can also do is just to make sure you clarify your scalp you can do a scalp scrub and scalp scrub it's, it's very easy to do it's so easy I have a DIY video showing you how to do scalp scrub so make sure you check that out and that just makes helps you like lift up all the you know, dead skin that might be causing the dandruff that might be causing the problem the last thing is to the products that you're using on your scalp um, make sure that they're not products that are clogging up your pores so that your pores can breathe easily uh, for me I only put oils natural oils on my scalp once a week and that's when I wash my hair and that seems sufficient uh, I don't have dandruff and then once a month I will do a scalp scrub just to elevate and kind of exfoliate my scalp so that really helps out so the next question is from Christine Christine asks, she says I know you do the lock method sometimes but when you reactivate the products with water do you reseal with an oil or just let it be and then she said and is a leave-in conditioner that says strengthening hair okay to use every day or every other day I look forward to this video <laughs> thank you Christine and um, to answer your question when I do the lock method yes I do reseal my hair so if I do the lock method and moisturize my hair that's fine but I make sure I seal in that moisture in with the butter then maybe a couple of days later if I feel that my hair is dry I'll spritz again with water and redo the lock method and seal it back in with what with um, a butter what I find out is that when you uh, put moisture in your hair and you don't seal that moisture your hair will tend to dry up faster so you need some kind of butter or some kind of thick oil to just lock in seal it in lock in that moisture so that your hair doesn't feel dry so quickly the last thing that she asked was about leave-in conditioner that strengthens your hair a leave-in conditioner that strengthens your hair will usually have proteins in it when I use that I don't use it every single day I would use it like for example the new Shea Moisture um, Castor or Jamaican Castor oil. that's a strengthening leave-in conditioner if I use that I might use it one day and maybe a couple of days later I'll use a moisturizing leave-in conditioner like their curl 
and style milk so kind of keeping a moisture and protein balance and I feel that when I have a balance such as that it really helps me with my hair and it has really helped me with retaining length and with just my general health of my hair the next question is from Anita and Anita states I'm a novice when it comes to this natural hair thing what I would love to know is how to get natural hair soft that has been so much struggle for people just trying to get their natural hair soft there are different things that you can do you can try deep conditioning more often um, you can also try co-washing your hair co-washing my hair on a regular basis has really helped if you're not okay with co-washing you can co-wash and then um, maybe co-wash during the week if you have time and at the end of the week you can shampoo or you can do you know co-wash and then keep on doing co-wash then at the end of the month you can do a shampoo but always remember deep conditioning your hair helps a lot a lot of people don't deep condition their hair I tell you deep conditioning your hair is a lifesaver it will help you keep the moisture in longer the last thing is always look at the products you're using if the products you're using is not one that helps you retain the moisture that you are putting into your hair then you might have a problem when you moisturize your hair well it will help it soften up it will help you'll be able to put that moisture in there so look at how you are moisturizing your hair and make sure that when you moisturize your hair you seal it in the moisture and that will help it soften up if you wear your hair out all the time re-moisturize it at the end of the day so that you can keep that softness that you're looking for okay so this next question is not hair related this next question says it's from sue and she was saying uh, what was your career before you became a stay-at-home mom okay you all see me all the time with my daughters we have a vlog called the end vlogs life and i stay at home yes i'm a stay-at-home mom but i also work at home that's one thing that you guys don't know i do work i have a full-time job and um i have a full-time job as a mom and i also have a full-time job doing other things that i cannot talk about this next question also is not hair related and I love those ones. I love those hair related ones and I also love the ones that are not hair related. So this is from Vanessa and Vanessa asked, she said, how did you develop a routine at the gym and how do you stay motivated to keep fit? Oh my goodness, to, to develop a routine at the gym, for me, it was just making sure that I've been going to the gym, working out, was part of a lifestyle for me it wasn't something that I said okay now this is a routine this is something that I have to now plan and whatever I had to incorporate it into my life and say okay I know I eat three meals a day or I know I read my Bible in the morning during my quiet time or I know I do this stuff gym just fell in as part of it and what I do is as soon as the girls are in school and I drop them off at school I go straight to the gym work out for one and a half hours and then go back home get ready and do my you know my real job and do all that and to keep motivated I tell you sometimes it is so hard because you have so much distraction but I just look at this my body is a temple and if I don't take care of my body my body is gonna break down and that is the biggest motivator and that is the biggest thing that keeps me going when it comes to um, staying fit and being healthy it is not always easy but whenever I have concerns whenever I have problems I just you know I get on my knees and I pray about it because I do want to be healthy I do want to remain healthy especially for my daughters and I want to show them an example um, of what a woman can do an example of you know how to live healthy so I think those are my two motivations my health and also my children the next question is from Michelle and Michelle asks what are ways to keep your end from feeling rough and freezy at times 
the ends of the hair you know is the oldest part of your hair what you need to do is you need to make sure that you are sealing in your ends make sure that whenever you moisturize your hair you pay close attention to your ends and one thing that I always make sure that I do is whenever you know I spritz my hand with water I could use a little bit of aloe vera gel or aloe vera juice um, and use that on it not aloe vera gel aloe vera juice and then I put my oil and um, my cream and my butter and make sure that the ends always have some kind of moisture in it and that does really help out if your ends do not recover from being moisturized if your ends are constantly dry no matter what you do it might be time to do a trim the next question is from Danielle and Danielle asks are uh, oil pre poos good for low porosity hair yes when you use um, oil pre poos the important thing is to heat the oil up when you eat the oil up you are able to open up your cuticles make sure you know the water gets the oil gets in and that really really helps out to read her says that as a first time mom I'm experiencing postpartum shedding even now as my son is 19 months my shedding has decreased by only a little any suggestion postpartum shedding is normal and um, I'll just have to say you know most of the time you just have to write it on out but there are some things that you can do in the meantime in form of shedding that can help uh, you can try make sure that your hair is moisturized at all time um, shedding is different from breakage breakage has to do more with moisturizing shedding can have to do with you know you know emotional state of mind it can have to do with stress it can have to do with your the life cycle of your hair and so many other things you know what you're eating uh, so take a look at those aspects of it uh, I find that doing some things like black tea rinse uh, or tea rinses in general has been very helpful in terms of slowing down the shedding process so you can try that out. I will do a video in the future talking more about black tea rinses and how it has really helped me out in my shedding struggles. Uh, other things are garlic, you can try having garlic in your diet and that I already have a video talking about that so garlic is very good it's very good for your health in general but also in terms of shedding it can be a good source of nutrient to help reduce that shedding um, Shea asks as a transitioner I have been doing low to no manipulative styles like low bonds pink and tark for length retention what are some fun styles to try besides break, um, braid outs and twist outs I transitioned for a year and during those times I did things like Bantu Knot, I did a lot of roll and talk, um, I conrolled my hair one or two times, um, there are also styles like roller sets, you can do roller sets, but you really want a style where you're not constantly touching your hair, so doing low manipulative styles is ideal, updos are great, uh, I do have a video talking about different styles that you can do and you can also visit my blog the um, discoverynatural.com where I have a gallery full of pictures of all the styles and I mean all the styles that I rocked when I was transitioning now the last question is also one that is of a personal matter um, this personal um, question is from Feisty and Feisty as she said it's not hair related but I'm curious to know what big sis and little sis names are uh, they're beautiful with beautiful hair thank you so much we really appreciate that we appreciate all your love for them and um but this time we are keeping the names you know secret <laughs> when they get older and they want to tell you their names they will let you know today if you have watched this video to the end this is the end of the part one facebook ask me anything questions and this is going to be a series ongoing i'll be doing this a couple of times once a month you know going on for further so if you want to ask me any more questions make sure that you post them below this video and i'll get to them but 
Since you stayed to the end of the video, I have something special for you all just to show my thankfulness and just for everything that you all have um, done in order to support our channel and you've shared our videos with everybody. So, are you ready? Okay. You notice how I didn't write giveaway because when I write giveaway, everybody that doesn't even have anything to do with the channel just flocks in. But I love my um, subscribers and I, I have corresponded if you've ever asked me a question or if you've subscribed and you don't have a privacy on your um, YouTube channel thing, you have gotten a communication from me. That's how much I love you. And I just want to say, every time when somebody subscribes my channel, I make sure that I put them in prayer and just um, say a word of prayer for them. And um, that's how much I really, really appreciate you all. Um, I want to give away two products and the reason why i chose these two products is because number one i'm a big advocate for multi-purpose products i like products that saves me time and products that will allow me to do so many things with just one product and it also saves money because you know we all want to save money we don't want to go broke before we break down <laughs> so that is why i'm showing these two products also, these two products are the products that have worked for both my hair, my daughter's hair, both of my daughter's hair. All the textures of our hair are different, but these two products have worked very well for us. We've not had any complaints. So this is why we're sharing this um, two products to you. Uh, the products that we're sharing and we're going to give away, the first one is the Shea Moisture Purification Mask. This can be used as a co-wash, it can be used as a, a deep conditioner and it cleanses your hair, it removes buildup and it's good for your scalp, it's good for itchiness. So it's a very great product to have in your arsenal. So I'm giving away the Shea Moisture Curl and Style Milk. This can be used as a leave-in, it can be used as a daily moisturizer, you can put in your um, hair sprays and we really like it because it really moisturizes our hair and you can use this together and you're good to go so if you do want to um, enter into the giveaway I do not want you to write enter me what I need you to write in the comment area is I want you to put down a question I want you to put down any question that you might have for me the last thing I would ask that you do is also to subscribe to my vlog channel so if you want to enter into this giveaway make sure that you also subscribe to my vlog channel and i'll check it out so if you want to enter put your um, question down below subscribe to the vlog channel dn vlogs live and you'll be entered in thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video if you've not yet subscribed what are you waiting for subscribe thank you